Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. So today I want to talk about how to include walking sessions into your football training business. So if you're a coach that runs group sessions, and if you're a coach that runs open group sessions, you might have moments within a se your season that players come in having not registered pre-session. Okay, so I'm going to create a scenario for you, right? Say you run a training session on a Wednesday evening. Okay, the session runs between 5 to 6 p.m. You typically have 20 players that you train within that group. And suddenly that evening, one of your clients brings a friend to train at that session, right? Now, the friend hasn't registered pre-session. So they're showing up and they're walking into the session. So a lot of coaches ask me, what should I charge? How should I set this up? How should I run these walk-in sessions? Okay, so what I want to do today, I want to break it down for you. So if you run weekly or daily academy sessions, which are anywhere between 15 to 20 players per group, and you accept walk-in uh, players, right? the most important thing is Number one, you need to make sure that if a parent is dropping their child off for a walk-in session, that you're gathering the information from them. Okay, so by information, I mean you're gathering their email address, you're gathering the child's info, uh, details, uh, also you're, you're gathering their contact number, Okay, so you need to make sure that you have some in, some type of information so that once that session is finished, you can then connect with that parent to sign their child up for your actual program. So walking sessions are really good. I know some coaches that offer these for free. I know some coaches that charge anywhere between 5 to 10 dollars for a walk-in session but the most important thing is that even if you do it for free so even if you offer these walk-in sessions for free make sure that on the day of the session if that parent is dropping their child off come into the session that you are gathering their information okay because when, when you get to a point where you have 15 to 20 or maybe 20 plus players, okay, it's going to be very difficult to track all the information if you're continuously getting walking players coming into your session on a weekly or daily basis. So the way I set it up, okay, and the way I normally do this is what we do is Typically, at every session, we have two coaches for one group. Okay, One coach, which is typically myself, will stand by the, the entrance gate of the pitch or the field, Okay, and I sign players in as they're coming in. Right. So if I know that I've got 15 to 20 players that are already registered for that group, I bring my register and I tick off all the players that that are attending or that are present at that session okay now if I suddenly get two or three players show up that aren't on the register what I want to do is I want to make sure that I grab that information because if you don't grab that information and simply those those parents are just dropping off their child going home not only is it a risk to your business because you don't know who's coming in but also you're losing out on potential new revenue okay so if you charge fifty dollars or fifty pound per month for the academy group training sessions and suddenly you're getting three new players come in for a taster session that could potentially be an extra 150 
dollars per month that you could be getting if you had a process in place where you're getting and gathering all the information from those parents okay so most important thing definitely offer walking sessions i always encourage coaches to definitely offer these but make sure you have a process in place where you're gathering the information as those players are coming in okay so what i would recommend is register with all the players names that have paid that are in your program at that training session and start ticking them off okay as they as they arrive now the players that aren't on the register are potential walk-in players so they're new players and what you want to do is you want to make sure that those parents are registering their child on the gate okay so they're, they're giving you all their information and then that you can then follow up with the day later with that parent okay so if you need more help with this okay reach out to me i speak to coaches every single day about their football training business so if you want to talk with me if you want to connect there's a number of ways you can do that visit the description below okay you can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me or you jump on zoom i can ask you some questions about your business see where you're at see where you want to get to or you can simply con connect with me through whatsapp or my email and i can answer any questions you might have through there okay so thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next